Hi, I'm Jim Purdue of Purdue Chicken. Unlike our competitor, who's gone back to feeding their chickens antibiotics, we at Purdue will remain no antibiotics ever. No antibiotics ever because we raise our chickens in a healthy environment, so they don't need them. No antibiotics ever takes more time and money, but it's the right thing to do. So when you buy chicken, look for the Purdue label to make sure your chicken is no antibiotics ever. Get the facts at Purdue.com. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, I'm Panda, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies, but this is the Deck the Hallmark Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. You sung Life it again. Brand. You know, the yeah. first time you sang it, it was terrible. Not true. I got a lot of feedback. And when I said My <laughs> dad said it was good. He actually hasn't listened. My mom said it was good. Uh, mm. That's it for me. So Just those two. How about well, your wife? What'd she think? She didn't mention that. <laughs> she was noncommittal <laughs> on the singing. She didn't mention that. Mm. Hi, babe. Love you. Um, you guys want Welcome to, to Deck wives? the Hallmark you guys want Podcast. To say to your wives? You want to say anything to your wife? Hey, sweetheart. How you doing? Hey, baby girl. Mm. It got got really weird. (laughs) Sorry about that, guys. Oh my goodness! Any any, uh, traction that we had with this thing was just gone gone. out the window. Mm. What do you guys think about traction, just in general, as far as like science goes? I I think I'm on the cards. I think it could go either (laughs) way. I don't think it exists. Um, I think it's one of those things that's made up. Fake news, you know. Fake news. Until I'm put in attraction, I don't think it's a thing. What do you think the odds are that we could get like press passes for a uh, a White House thing and go in and do uh, ask questions? I don't know why that's part of this podcast. I don't know. It just came to my mind. Wow. Press passes. Welcome to Duck the Hallmark, guys. Uh, Duck the Hallmark. Uh, we got a couple of things real quick. If you could uh, rate and review on the iTunes, that'd be really great. If you could go to deckthehallmark.com. There are so many goodies there. Goodies are being added each and every day. And can I tell you this? If you go there and you find, uh, what is it, the hidden, uh, hidden candy cane. Yep. Um, Ooh, you will free be, shirt. You'll be entered to win uh, a round trip with airfare and hotel to uh, a Weezer concert uh, that is uh, TBA. So this is what happens when we record more than one in a night. So just because, it just becomes now, all weekend, bids. Next weekend, because of Thanksgiving, we're going to be recording six in one night. The sixth. <laughs> the sixth it's one we be, record is going to be off the rails. Awful. Sorry, guys. Mm. <laughs> We're apologizing. What he's saying about the Weezer concert is please rate and review us <laughs> on iTunes. <laughs> that is what I'm trying to say. Uh, go There's going to gonna be some Weezer fan who likes this podcast who's mm. going to be obsessively looking for that candy cane. Um, so maybe you're you're tuning in and you're just like, what are you guys going to do for the Thanksgiving week? Because there's a movie, uh, I think there's two on Monday night, two on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's a lot of movies on Thanksgiving week. The plan is, uh, to enjoy Thanksgiving with our families, mm-hmm. yeah, and then we're going to come back together that weekend, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about all of them. Then we're gonna we're actually having a family a podcast family dinner podcast family we are. dinner. The three of us, our wives, our kids, we're all going to eat, and then we are going to stow away and record six quick podcasts, <laughs> <laughs> just knock them all out. And then how those will be released, uh, we still need to figure out. I Would don't you know, guys don't rather know. have them all in one yeah, day? Yeah, you'd rather just uh, dump them all on a Sunday. Would you rather do like two a day for a week? How would you want to do it? Yeah, you email. let us you know, let us know. You and we'll do us the best at, we can. Have you heard mm. about our new email address? Hello at deckthehallmark.com. Mm. Hello. Hello. Deck the Hallmark. How are you? <laughs> this is a, a sing-heavy episode. Yes, it is. Um, before we sing anymore, it's time to dive into today's movie, which is a veteran's Christmas. Yeah, it and is. let me say this really fast. This movie aired on Veterans Day. Uh, my my dad served. My brother is currently serving. Uh, I I love the troops. Thank you so much for for your service. Both of my grandfathers served. I taught U.S. history for years. We cannot tell you how important veterans are to the lifeblood of our country, and they're the backbone of our country, and they're wonderful. My grandfather served as well. So mm. thank you blood. to our veterans. We it's, love you. It's important to say that up front because we are, we'll say things about this movie, and That's we right. want you guys to know that it is the movie. That's right. We love the veterans. That is the disclaimer. That is the most important thing you can hear us say. <laughs> That's are right. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get it started. Ha! Ha! 
And here uh, it's time for a Veterans Christmas that originally aired on November 11th, 2018, and it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Grace flying back stateside. She had just finished her time in the Marines, and she's going uh, back to attempt to get acquainted with civilian life. She buys a car and is driving and immediately crashes her car into a snowbank. She gets out of the car, and this random dog comes up to her and is like, you okay? And she's like, I'm fine. Uh, and she follows the dog to this house that's just off the road. She knocks on the door, and she sees a hunk named Joe, who's also the town judge. Very young judge, but that's neither here nor there. She tells Joe uh, how much she loves the dog and how much she misses her dog that's named Christmas. Uh, the, the dog that she had actually belongs to the Marines, and so she had to leave it when she, when she left the, the Marines. They take the car to the mechanic, and, and he's like, the car won't be fixed until the new year, or it'll be done by Christmas. <laughs> Who can really tell? So uh, Joe lets her stay at the uh, cabin that's on her property, which means um, only one thing. Love is on the horizon. They go to church, thanks to Joe's sister and Grace kind of sort of being the same size, and everybody at church is trying to set them up with one another um, and then she goes out to the car and she's sitting there and she begins to scroll through her Samsung phone and look at pictures of the dog um, which is this, to say this this is a big plot point don't forget it <laughs> don't forget about the, the dog, dog matters we find, Christmas. <laughs> we find out um, that he, that Joe used to be engaged to a girl that I thought for the longest time was named Marty until the end of the movie um, she's uh, pretty good at figure skating or at least her body double is and mm, there the, it is. they go and they do some Christmas stuff, getting a Christmas tree decorating it, going to the tree lighting all the <laughs> things that you need in order to fall in love at Christmas time, he, he tells Grace that he wants to go to Chicago to be a judge and she's like big city stink. Um, while out of the town, Grace sees Joe meet up with not Marty and she's like, oh no, what's happening? Um, and, and, she, and he says, listen, we bumped into each other. It's a small town. No big deal. And she's like, whatever. I'm going to bed. Uh, she um, They're at the Christmas festival, and they're on the Ferris wheel, and they, they almost kiss, but they're, inter uh, they're interrupted by a, by a bell. That's all it takes these days to interrupt a kiss. Um, <laughs> uh, so she, she finds out. She, she walks in the next day, and she hears Joe on the phone with not Marty, and he's like, I love you. You're the best. You're awesome. Mm. All things that you shouldn't say under any circumstance no. to your ex-fiance. <laughs> um, and so Grace leaves town. She gets on a bus. She's heading out. Joe catches one of this and she call, he calls the cop, Cooper. He's like, Coop, you got to go stop her. Do what you got to do. So he breaks the law, uses his, <laughs> uses his <laughs> yeah. lights to pull over the, the bus for no reason, says, hey, you got to come with me. They go back to Joe's uh, place where the entire town is waiting for her. And what did Joe do? He got Christmas, the dog, back. <laughs> The dog comes in. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks to the help of not Marty and her dad, they were able to get the dog back. Um, he says he's not going to Chicago. Um, a, a guy watches them very awkwardly kiss. He's like off to the side. And he's like, mm. uh, and that, my friends, is a, a veteran's, veteran's Christmas. Christmas. Mm. Mm, there it is. And it's Marnie, I believe. I caught it at the end. But it took all movie because I was confused as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Marty. Marty. <laughs> it's hey, bold choice. Hey, Marty. Marnie. Like the like uh, Blarney. It's a girl. Like the Blarney. What should we name her? Marnie. How about Marty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey man. guys, um, let's talk about a veteran. How many Christmas. segments do we have on this show? We have Brandon? four segments, wow. and we always start with the most obvious of one, which is hot take. Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> One, two, three. Hot, Hot take. take. Uh, it's the top part of the show where we, we talk about how we felt about this movie. And I always start with one guy and one guy only, and his name is Panda. Panda, what you got? Look, I, I was not a big fan of this movie until the final ten minutes, and we'll get to that. But it mm. single-handedly changed it from a, I don't like this movie, to... I liked it. It's that, okay. That seems to be the consensus of social media that went from I like it to I love it because of the last 10 minutes. Yeah. But I can see I, it. Well, I, I went from I, I thought this movie was pretty bad to, to all right, I, I'm okay. okay. I'm on board. How do you get upset at a, a soldier reuniting with her you dog? You can't do it. With her uh, dog. Well, and I'm got, 
I mean, can I just go ahead and say this is the first movie, and I, this is not a joke. I teared up. Yeah, you did. I, I yeah, did. Yeah, like, yeah. I ended up like legitimately like I had to hold back some cheers, mm. and it got me. It was it was not worthy of a cry, but it got one. It's annoying no. because you knew it was coming. I saw it a yeah. mile away, it. and it still got doesn't me. matter. Yeah. Dang it, Christmas yeah. got me. Too. <laughs> Dang it, Christmas. Mm. Um, I didn't dislike this movie as much as uh, a lot of people that I've seen. People are like, this movie is boring, blah, blah, blah. It was very goofy. Like, Joe mm-hmm. was over the top mm-hmm. goofy. Tom yeah. Super cheesy. Like, he, the cheese factor on that guy. He was obnoxious. Was, like, uh, was craft. <clears throat> I don't know. I wanted That's to terrible. do some stuff. <laughs> it's what so would bad. You, what would you have done? Would yeah, I would have never done? have done a cheese factor joke, ever. No, no, wouldn't have done one. Hey, never say never. <laughs> okay. we got a lot of movies. So <laughs> okay. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so, yeah, I thought it was super cheesy, uh, but at the same time, I, it's something about it, I liked it. I don't know. I liked it. Um, the ending was just fantastic. Just fantastic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just fantastic. Mm. Um, and it was the perfect way to, to end a veteran's Christmas. And uh, I loved it. Mm. Uh, Dan? Well, uh, there's a point in the film where Joe is making breakfast and he says he's making his specialty, which is uh, triple cheese, double baked eggs. <laughs> um, and I threw up a little in my mouth. Uh, because What's I don't a double I, baked egg. I don't know, but I don't like eggs to begin with, which is a, my, it's a me problem. But a double baked egg, <laughs> like I legitimately wanted to vomit, and that's kind of how I felt about the movie oh. in general. Um, and I will say this: in all honesty, it wasn't that bad for a horror film. Uh, <laughs> It, you are you are staying in a man's house that is staring you down like he's the, you're the last woman on earth, and it's a cottage with a Santa outfit in it. This is a Hitchcock film. You run. <laughs> you as a veteran, you should have a sixth when, sense when about he, this. When she knocked on the door for the first time, and he opened the door, and his eyes were like, "What?" Dude, there are, <laughs> That's what he would have. There are so many scenes yeah, where I'm like, creepy. the the entire town. Is like the village in M. Night Shyamalan's yes. The Village. That's so true. And, and Can we put M. Night Shyamalan on the bingo cards? I would He's love mentioned that. way too He's much. He's mentioned on this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were going to do four, but Ramsey told us three was over. <laughs> yeah. um, he was like, so, sign the budget. For that's it. right. You got an envelope for three, not four. Slick. That's what he said. He Otherwise, said, we're going to have to dip into the fun money. And <laughs> I right. said, no, you don't want to dip do into the fun money. And here's the t- here's <laughs> uh, by the end by the by the thirty seventh movie, it's going to be all callbacks. And if anybody listens to that one, they're going to be very confused. Um, there are so many scenes where I'm like, the entire town is conspiring her to keep her in the town limits. Yeah, that was like, weird. This is like this is really really bad. It, it is. It was terrifying to me. I was afraid uh, for, for, for the life of Grace, and, and it was not good. And I will say this. The Hallmarkies were on our show a while back. Check out their podcast. They're great people, super wonderful. And they asked me if I had seen any Hallmark movies and mysteries. I told them I hadn't. And they said, guys, are you sure you want to do all the movies? I just think there's a very distinct style to the Hallmark movies and mysteries yeah. that is very different than the Hallmark Channel movies. And i got to be honest, it is... It's just very dramatic, like very... To the point of creepy, though, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I honestly thought this movie works better if it's like a a psychopath, you know, it turns out he's bad the whole time. Yeah, what it does a it weird say city. about me that I typically prefer the movies and mysteries movies? Well, it the thing is, lot. if there was actual mystery, I would probably like just be on board. Throw the mystery Like some out. of the sleuthers, like some of those films. <laughs> Hashtag sleuthers. Yeah, that's right. Let's get on board with a, a Christmas sleuther if we could. Go listen to the Hallmarkies podcast. I mean, for the love of goodness, I know that Chesapeake Chats is done for the year, but they do all of these movies. And her and Amber, I got the name right. Amber is an absolute joy. So is Rachel. Please go and listen to their podcast. They're wonderful people. So good. And ladies, could you come on our show, please? Like, we'd love to have you on again for the Christmas time if you've got time. Um, Hey, it's time for the next segment of the show, which is all the feels. The part of the show we talk about those feels that we get. Panda, what'd you get? Guys, I think this one's the obvious one. Christmas the dog. I mean, oh, yeah. when he yeah. shows up at the end. Christmas. Guys, I'm like as I'm talking about, I'm getting yeah. emotional. I it was great. We all own dogs. Let me full full disclosure. We're we all huge own dogs. dog like in, yes. inside I'm a big dog dogs. Boy. Big dog I mean boy. dog sleep the dogs sleep in our bed. Yep. Like they're huge. I like, got a new recliner. Chris, Christmas and, Christmas is going to the dogs. Okay. All right. It's That's a song. Better. That's better. I, I it's wanna, better than I the wanna, cheese factor. I want to clarify that we got a new recliner brand. Yeah, and, and hear me out, Brand. My um, my my wife was like, "You can't have the dog up there. The dog's up on my recliner now." You told her the dog is gonna. 
be in the recording. Oh, I was like, you listen here. Okay. It did and we're going to cut that, that. We're going to edit that right out. <laughs> we're moving. I love you. <laughs> hey, baby. Um, oh, boy. That's my, tough. My all the feels is going to go to Dan real quick. Dan, what do you got? <laughs> so um, uh, I – we're, we're watching this on Veterans Day. Um, it also coincidentally is the day one year ago that I put my dog down. Um, and I don't want to bring the mood down, but I, there was a dog I got when I was in college, mm. lived to be 17 years old, legitimately moved everywhere with me while my wife was in grad school. I was in grad school and like was just ride or die. First dog I'd ever owned and put him down exactly a year ago, the day I watched the movie, which was actually the 12th. I watched it the next day. Um, and so... I guess what I'm saying is is that it was a tough day in general for me um, because it came up on the time hop and whatnot. And then I see this scene at the end, and it it did give me the feels for sure. I was like, this shouldn't work, and it does work. But it didn't give me as many as I thought it would, like in huh. retrospect. Like, it definitely was the only scene that really worked for me. But considering all that was going on with me personally, like, it, it was just kind of like... All right, well, that does work because you can't not, like, anytime a dog is reunited with its owner, oh, it's so good. it doesn't matter what, whatever ever happens in the movie. Like, that's going to work. And so that was that was my contribution as well. That's fair. My All the Fields is the other dog. <clears throat> oh, Justice. I love Justice. I've got oh, some weight once about Justice. Yeah, I think we all yeah. do, but Justice was great. Justice made me <clears throat> laugh. Justice at times sometimes made me confused. But Justice gave me feels. And I, I would love, I would love my dogs to be as well behaved as Justice, but they're not, and that's neither here nor there. Give us some, give us some money, and I'll get some, get some training. Um, what? Good talk. Wow. <laughs> you nope. so much. It's time Super for the next turn. other show, which is wait, what? You just went into a different language there. You just said it's time for the next other on the show. Like what? <laughs> that wasn't even English. It's time for the next segment of the show, which is wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> it's the part of the show where we say. What is going on there? While yeah. we're watching this movie, we each get two of them. I'm going to start with my good friend Dan. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I, I got a couple, but the first one is is pretty straightforward. Grace looks at Joe and goes, uh, so how did you become judge uh, in your hometown? And that answer usually has a pretty, like, that question has a pretty simple answer, right? Yeah. You tell him how you became judge. And Joe's response was, well, I didn't plan to become judge. I wanted <laughs> to go to Chicago and do all these things. And then he never actually – like, did you apply? Were you a lawyer? Like, what was the process? Because that kind of leads into my second wait what, which is this town is creepy on a number of levels, but they hire the youngest employees for the highest levels of office <laughs> of any town I've ever seen. It's not like he's a lawyer, right? It's right. not like his buddy is a police officer. He's the judge. This is the judge and the sheriff of the town, and they have a combined age of 18, max. <laughs> there are a couple of toddlers <laughs> running around, banging gavels and holding guns, and it's dangerous, and I don't understand it. And so the, at the very least you can do if hey, you— Hey, cool. <laughs> Go get her. <laughs> Arrest her for nothing so I can keep her in my hometown. I will say the only, the only <laughs> possible explanation for the sheriff using his power mm. to pull over that bus is that he is a toddler. Yeah, <laughs> That's I think the so. only logical that, explanation. It does make sense. My last wait, what is Joe's wardrobe? And I look, I'm not <laughs> here to be fashion police. I'm not that guy. Uh, I wear mostly. <laughs> Nor should I you wear mostly New York Yankees gear, and then wore a shirt on Good Morning America I've had for a decade. Um, <laughs> but here's the deal: first of all, at this Christmas festival or whatever it is in the evening, he wears no less than three different jackets. I don't know why all the wardrobe changes, but my bet, my favorite part of his entire getup is the giant thick turtleneck <laughs> that he wears, and mm-hmm. I just felt like. It was from a begotten era before he was born, and, and it was just a different world. And I just, it just was kind of like, I mean, I guess it, I guess it fits him from a creepy staring situation. But in general, I just was like, what's what's going on with this guy? Nothing adds up about him. He's a weird fella, weird dude. A lot of staring. Probably the, my least favorite male lead. Yeah, of, oh, in, by of any far. of the films. He's so weird. Panda. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One of the scenes. The character. He- the actor is great. Yeah, yeah, of course, sure. Joe. Of course. Just, I just feel like sometimes Salt we need to say it. We do. I, I feel bad. I said one time, it was uh, Road to Christmas. The female lead, I said, couldn't act. And you know what? She can't act. I'm, I feel I felt bad about that later on. Sorry. I feel like I get that out there. Go ahead. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, here's the deal. In one of the scenes, he asks her when they first meet, Joe and uh, Grace, he looks at her and he says, so are you a vet? And she goes, <laughs> or uh, it, she goes, or a veterinarian actually uses the full term. And she goes, no, yes, 
I'm a veteran. I want to point out that that's a very simple answer. <laughs> no, no, no. It's there's a vet, veterinarian and a veteran. Yeah, You're, one is not the same as they the other. Are not the same. She was <clears throat> literally struggling. She's like, well, kind of, pretty much. And I want to point out that no, you're not. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're a marine. Next year there will be a movie called A Veterinarian's Christmas. Uh, yeah, a vet, a vet's Christmas. A vet's Christmas. Yeah, um, <laughs> I just feel like we're we're treading on really dangerous waters, and I can't make it any clearer. Like uh, I love this country. I think, I I think what Panda's saying is church services <laughs> are, are across the country today. Ask veterans to stand, and if you're a veterinarian, and you and don't you stand. Up, you don't stand. They're not the same. They're thing. not. The same. I just want to point that yeah, out. No, they're not the same. But if you if you fought for our country and you want to call you yourself, also, you want to call yourself a vet, you call yourself a vet. Let's just make it clear. But I want to point out, he doesn't ask her that. He asks her, "Are you a veterinarian?" She's, yeah, right. And no, she, no. she is it's confused a, by that question. It's a great way, what? It really is. <laughs> I just want to point that out. But, I mean, this is also a guy that says at some point, I'm sorry for the subterfuge. <laughs> he says that line <laughs> in this movie. That guy can't spell subterfuge. I guarantee you. <laughs> sorry. You got another wait, what? I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Uh, I want to point out, the, just to me, one of the more shocking statements that she makes, she talks about how she gets Christmas. Grace talks about how she gets Christmas, and she chalks it up to a clerical error because she got, gets the dog at, at nine weeks old, and it was supposed to be, I think she said, a nine-month-old, like, fully trained dog, but instead she got a puppy. I want to point out that this is a very specially trained dog for search and rescue, K-9, and this is a massive clerical error when you're That's over right. in Afghanistan and you got, I got a puppy. This is a search and rescue dog and I ended up with a puppy oh and she's fine that with that. puppy's going to run off and she's running around on <laughs> yeah. the puppy. That puppy's yeah. going to die. It's yeah. not going to turn out good. I hate it's that. Not yeah, that's quite a clerical error. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I guess I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at one point they're at church. First of all. No, I'm not going to get into it. They're at church. <laughs> they're at church. <laughs> Let's not. I don't need to get yeah. into it. Nope. They're at church, and uh, Joe's mom is talking to Joe, and all the people are talking to, to Grace. And she, she, the mom, says to Joe, go, go help your friend. Pause. Will you help me out with the car? <laughs> mom, I need you to pick one. I need you to pick yeah, one. That's do you right. want me to go help her, or do you want me to help you get stuff it's out of your car? It's not about hand. It's an either or. And then he does neither of them. That's right. He there are a lot of interesting conversations where people are talking to Joe in general. Exactly I, right. I, I, like, um, and then my last one, at one, at one point they go, um, Joe and Grace go Christmas tree shopping, and they find the Christmas tree, and Joe <laughs> says, this Christmas tree reminds me of you. You Joe, never do that. You never do. You it. never do. You it. never do it. No. Christmas trees are are large. There they, are so <laughs> many things you can say wrong after that sentence, and not many that you can say right. <laughs> he he goes for it. Complex and beautiful. Mm, like, it's better than like big, big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> like full. Right. This, is, this, this tree reminds me of you. Full. <laughs> full <laughs> for lunch today. <laughs> I don't like what. I mean, there's just not a lot you can do. So if do. you're out there and you are a, a Guys, single guy and listen. you're wanting to go Christmas tree shopping with that girl that you like, that's right. Do not say you remind me of that Christmas tree. No, there's not a wor- there's not a it world where work. it works it well. Will not. That's just from us to you. We don't know much, but we know that. Next caller, <laughs> <laughs> Delilah. Uh, Dan, what you got for what the Hallmark? Because I've already done my wait. What is it already that time? It is. We're jumping ahead. Wow. It's time what? for what the Hallmark. The but I can of, go first for that. The time of like. the show. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Let me, let me do my job. Please do it. Uh, well, you weren't time. earlier. That is true. This has got a cheese factor of provolone to the 12th power. <laughs> <laughs> I said this has cheese factor. <laughs> and I said a cheese factory. Craft. <laughs> it was smart. Okay. All it's right. just smart comedy. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> Provolone to the 12th. Rob Schneider. Schneider. Rob Schneider would have loved that said, joke. It's not, it would have been a Schneider joke right up his alley. You're right. Uh, aside from what the hallmark, the time of the show where we wonder maybe what happened before or after the credits rolled, that would give us some clarity to the things that we saw in this movie. And I'll I'll go first. Um, they're at the tree lighting ceremony, and there mm. is a group of uh, old ladies singing, and the old ladies have uh, matching sweaters on, and, they, and the sweaters say, happy. Holiday. Hol- 
gala days. Yeah. They're old ladies. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah. they're singing Christmas songs together in the sweaters say happy holidays. I'm interested in their story. How often do they sing? Are they on tour? Can I go see them? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Where'd the sweaters come from? Those are all the things that I would like to know about them. Um, and, and that's my, that's my what the hallmark, Dan. I have three. Okay, what the well, hallmarks. And I'm really sorry about that. Uh, the first is I need to know the beginning of a joke or story. I believe that it's grace and Joe's mom are walking into the room and they're laughing and mom, they're both laughing. <laughs> and mom goes, and he's never had a glass of eggnog since. <laughs> and, and I gotta be honest, like more than anything in the world, I want to know how we got there. Like, tell me the beginning of that story to where it gets to where we, Joe, Joe's like, no, on the eggnog. Like what? Never happened? again. Can't do it. No. Never again. I mean, did he put some of his double baked cheesy stuff to eggs in there? Like what, what was it? What? Is, so are they, they're baked? He, they're uh, maybe baked. I misheard him, but he said triple cheese, double baked Do you think eggs. he like scramble them and then put them in the oven? But like, is it baked, like a twice baked? Just baked eggs. Why would you need to... Double it bacon doesn't egg. make any sense. Maybe for the cheese at all. The cheese. No. No. I, no. It doesn't work. Second, do um, I want to know who the dog trainer was for justice because they did too good of a job. Um, Grace is really into justice. Yes. Like, oh, just such a good dog. Like, really doing the full bit. And Justice is standing at attention and staring in the distance <laughs> like he wants nothing to do with Grace. And Grace is supposed to have trained dogs for a living. And she is really trying to love on the dog. And Justice is you like, can, I got to stare at my master or I don't get to treat. You can, you can cut me off. You can pay you, cut me off you right. want, but I'm not showing you I got you a love job me. to do. I got to get that biscuit. <laughs> Do you can pet me, but I'm gonna get the biscuit. Don't distract me with everything. I'm getting oh, the biscuit. I do. I do love this love, but I love that biscuit. Um, so you know I mean? there it is. Uh, and then last but not least, um, I do feel like, and I said this earlier, but in Rivers Crossing, they're all conspiring to keep Grace in town, and so I want to know like just how deep this goes because Joe is clearly talking to the mechanic because he's behind him and he mm-hmm. says, no, no, no. Is there a city text threat? Yeah. Is there, yeah, a something. And then, yeah, yeah. but my favorite one is, uh, his buddy Coop. He, he, he has a search and rescue job open in, re- in, yeah. the, in the small town somehow. And he asks Grace, Hey, do you want that job trying to keep her in town? And she says, no, 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 I'll pass. And he goes, ha ha, don't make me arrest you. <laughs> What? Creepy. Yeah, he's that, gotta be a toddler. That is that is not okay. Hey, hey don't, don't don't make, make me, me arrest you. That sounded like an old man. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Those are my what the whole right there. Bad boys, bad boys. How do you follow that? I, I can't. You can't. Uh, the only thing I can point out is just uh, I, I'm. I would like to know what happens to Grace. Not necessarily her love life or anything, but I just is anyone going to check her for a concussion after that car crash? Because no one does. No one is remotely. I thought for sure he was a doctor. By the time he she gets to his house, like she has dried blood, blood. here, and he's like, "Oh wait." You're bleeding. No, you were bleeding, bleeding like maybe a, an hour ago. And then he puts like what appears to be makeup on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, attaboy, Joe. No Dress her up real pretty for no mama. No one wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back next week uh, with, more, with more movies. Uh, here's what's going to happen. You got two movies on Saturday. We got two movies on Sunday. Dear gracious. Those Whoa. episodes are going to come out during Thanksgiving week. That's right. So it's going to be like a normal week during Thanksgiving. And then we really do want to know what do you want us to do? We, we can dump a bunch at you um, and then just keep schedule like normal where we do the Saturdays and Sundays during the week. Uh, just let us know. Yeah, next week we'll have four like normal. And then the week after the question is, do you want six episodes on the Monday after Thanksgiving or do you want... Do you want to spread out throughout... Yeah. The- How do you, you tell want us? It? Yeah. I know, I know. We want to hear from the fans. Hey, Please. really, we we are as confused as to what to do as you guys are. We are. Hallmark said, how many movies can we fit in one week? Well, I, oh, we, all, we all are going to hang out with our families, too. And so right. we're not helping ourselves there. But, you know, that's fine. I, I haven't seen my parents in quite some time. Hey, guys, you want? <laughs> i got to watch Hallmark movies. Watch I Hallmark can't. Movies. Sorry. I'm just going to go to my room. Mm. All right, guys. Thanks uh, for listening. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. And uh, bye-bye. 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 Bye. 
Hi, I'm Jim Purdue of Purdue Chicken. Unlike our competitor, who's gone back to feeding their chickens antibiotics, we at Purdue will remain no antibiotics ever. No antibiotics ever because we raise our chickens in a healthy environment, so they don't need them. No antibiotics ever takes more time and money, but it's the right thing to do. So when you buy chicken, look for the Purdue label to make sure your chicken is no antibiotics ever. Get the facts at Purdue.com.